Hi, it's Darren Mitchell from Control and Compound Financial. In today's video, I want to talk about the average return versus the actual return. And if you want more information on this, a little more detail, check out my Amazon best-selling book, Be the Bank, Chapter Three. Now, average return is typically what a what a financial projection will look like. You know, the advisor will sit down and say, "How much money do you have now? How much you saving a month?" Let's assume an average return of X. Boom! There's your financial plan. So let's dig in that a little deeper. So let's look at these four rate of returns here. We've got a plus 100, a plus, a minus 50, a plus 100, and then a minus 50. So if we were to get the average return on that, we just add it up and divide by four. So if we add these up, we've got uh, 100 minus 50 plus 100 minus 50, that, that equals 100. We divide that by four, and we've got ourselves an average of a 25% return. Pretty amazing return when you think of it. Your advisor tells you after four years, listen, things are going great. You're averaging 25% return, but it doesn't seem like you have that much money. So now let's talk about what's much more important, the actual return. So let's do the math here. Let's let's pretend you had $100,000 when you started and first year you doubled your money. So now you're up to 200,000. Second year, you lost half your money, 50% loss. Well, you're back to 100,000. Year three, another great year, you're up 100%, 200,000, and again, year four, you lose 50%, $100,000. So your actual return is zero, but your advisor's telling you you had a 25% return. Now, do you care about the average return or do you care about the actual return? Now, that's a pretty big swing, right? Plus 100, minus 50. I mean, you know, you're not gonna see those type of returns in the stock market. Where are you? Let's look at the stock market over a 20 year period here. Here's the S&P 500. It went up 100, down 50, up 100, down 50, and then up now over 400, 400% straight, straight uphill. So, you know, yes, we've seen 50% corrections in, 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 in the stock market, usually once a decade, not in the last 10 years though. So let's dig into this a little further and look at a, uh, um, the years 1990 to 2008, the average return is 7.11. Again, pretty good return, but as we just saw, it's these actual returns that matter. So, so let's pull out our Truth Concepts calculator and figure out exactly what the actual return is versus the average over this 20 year period. So here's the Truth Concepts calculator. We've got the average return of 7.11%. And we're gonna assume here you started out with $253,163. And if you average 7.11% over that 20 year period, you have a total of $1 million. So there's your retirement projection back in 99. Someone says, great, you're gonna have a million dollars. Well, let me cut and paste these actual returns in here. So if I put the actual returns in, wow, much different story. The actual return now is only 5.6% versus the 7.11, which is what most, what most people would call the average return. The actual return 5.66. So now instead of a million bucks, you've got 752,000. So basically about a third of your gains have been evaporated. Now remember, remember those wealth destroyers. What else evaporates your gains? Well, what if we were in a maybe a 25% tax bracket and a 2% fee. Now your million dollars is 332,000. So your 250 grew to 332. So instead of $750,000 of growth, you had about $75,000 worth of growth. So you need to figure out the actual return and you need to take care of those wealth destroyers like taxes and fees. Thanks for a lot for watching. Please subscribe and like and share.